You guys loved this old video about removing a stuck motherboard standoff, but how about just removing them as normal? Standoffs are those little posts in your case that you use to screw down your motherboard, and if you want to move them, the reason is going to be rearranging the standoffs in your case. Different motherboards have different holes in them, different hole patterns, and you need to make sure that they all line up properly, else you could either have too many standoffs in your case or not enough standoffs for screwing the motherboard down. This can in some cases cause short circuits in the motherboard if a standoff is touching on the back of the motherboard where it shouldn't be. So if you've got standoffs in the case and they're touching the back of the motherboard, and that part of the motherboard doesn't have a hole in it, that could easily cause problems. So that's why we're doing it, but what about how? We've got two methods. Method one is the proper way with the least chance of damage to your case. This is using a standoff adapter. Some cases will actually come with a small standoff adapter like this that can be used with a simple screwdriver. To remove a standoff, simply place the adapter over the top and then unscrew using a screwdriver. If your case doesn't come with such an adapter, and to be honest, most don't, you'll need an iFixit kit like this iFixit Mako, which we've got linked in the description. Use this attachment over the top of the standoff and then unscrew, easy. To add standoffs into the case rather than take them away, it's exactly the same process, you just do it in reverse, i.e. you'll be screwing it down instead of removing. But what if I don't have an iFixit kit? What if I don't wanna buy one? Well, that brings us on to method number two, and this is kind of a jury-rigged version. You're gonna need a set of pliers. You should have these in any household toolbox. You wanna to get ones with a nice rough edge like this for good grip. You can either grab the standoff from the side and then twist to the left, or you can grab from the top and twist to the left. Either way, you should be able to unscrew the standoff this way. And then of course, just like method one, if you want to install a standoff, you can just do the reverse by turning it to the right. The drawback of doing it this way is that pliers are more bulky, so you're more likely to scratch up your case when you're doing this. You'll also kind of munge up the standoff itself and peel all the black paint off it, which might irk you, might not but you shouldn't actually damage it by doing this method. Hopefully that quick tip was useful. If it was, say thank you in the description with a comment, like and sub to the channel so others can see it. Ask me other PC building questions below so I can help you out with more quick tips in the future. If it wasn't helpful, tell me I'm a piece of dirt in the comments, but keep it PG. If you have any other methods or tips, comment them down below, help out the community. And until next time, I'll catch you.